Hello everyone. Here is my Sparkle and Shine, which is the oldest rose that I have in my garden. It's one of the three roses that I had in my garden when I started my rose journey. The other two, I got rid of them because about um, eight or nine years ago, I knew nothing about growing roses. So when they got black spots and things like that, I got frustrated and then decided, okay, rose, no, not really for me because it's just high maintenance and just too much. So I quit rose gardening not too long after. I blogged about that one on, on my blog at Roses in Houston. If anyone's interested in reading how my rose gardening journey started and ain't so quick, um, so you can check out that story there. But guess what? Eight or nine years later, this rose is still doing wonderful. I would say it is about four, four, almost five feet tall. And I love this shade of yellow. It, it is just the, my favorite shade of yellow and it it is ruffle as well as far as the uh, petals so beautiful and as the bloom the the flowers fade um like a few days after it fades to this shade over here like light yellow but look how fancy that how pretty they are and I don't remember if it has any fragrance. I don't smell anything, but it can be because uh, the time of the day. But right now, towards end of day, I do not smell anything. And like I said, this is the rose. That's the oldest one. So when I first started, I didn't know how to care, how to take care. So I didn't fertilize, didn't prune didn't do anything it black spot really bad in the first couple of years and literally I just neglect this poor thing out here to go through drought didn't get water um, only provided by mother nature for several years until I resume my rose gardening again during COVID that's when I start learning became more interested in learning how to care for uh, roses again and since then I prune this beauty right here for the first time in forever start fertilizing taking better care of it but look at the foliage is beautiful I mean it, it still gets black spot here and there but this looks really good in the spring but in the summer it may be different but right now it looks gorgeous and it is full of buds at this stage definitely a really beautiful yellow roses if you love yellow roses I have uh, I think I have two yellow of two or three or four I don't remember in my garden but this one is always the most special one in my heart as it is the oldest rose that I have that is still alive doing well it has a lot of story went through a few hurricanes, of course, snows, freeze in Texas, drought, everything you can ever imagine without care. And talking about roses, they are really hardy. Although the blooms look delicate, but the plant itself, it is very hardy. So I hope you enjoy Sparkle and Shine. Let me know if you have yellow roses and what's your favorite yellow rose that you have or you wish to have.